So far, we're hanging together as a team. We've got Republicans and Democrats alike recognizing that Dodd-Frank, which was created back in the 09 and 10 time period, that it maybe went too far in some areas. We've had a chance to review the, you know, the, what's happened because of it. And now it's time to take a serious look about what modifications need to be made in this, in this huge original bill. Is it the uh, perception that on big banks, it was about right, but on small banks, it, it definitely went too far and has hurt uh, consumers and, and hurt the ability for loans with, with that sector of the marketplace. But you don't necessarily want to want to roll back anything on the big, nasty, too big to fail banks, do you? Yeah, I, I, I think there's still a discussion uh, and a still an analysis that says that the damage that was done in the last uh, uh, recession was caused by larger uh, banks who were finding themselves in investments that sometimes were more risky than what the uh, the American public realized. But I think there's both Republicans and Democrats who are supporting uh, changes for smaller community and regional banks, and that's where most of the emphasis has been in in this in this particular legislation. Not all, but some. And then th there are some changes that we proposed that would uh, that would help uh, uh, consumers dealing with all different sizes of banks as well. I mean, how far? How long did all the rules being written get it? Are they, they're not done yet, are they, Sorkin? I mean, they're, they're, no, they're, they're, there's still they're some still that are outstanding. I mean, yeah, outstanding. I, I, in, in a good example is yet. the Volcker rule, which literally has taken years and years, and really there's still people that are talking about whether or not it's right. You know, Volcker was designed to, to talk about the differences between a bank using its own money in trading uh, versus uh, uh, commingling or using uh, money that's been deposited with them. And uh, we actually make a minor modification in that, in that we exempt banks with less than $10 billion in assets from the Volcker Rule, which is a very onerous and time consuming uh, uh, piece of, of law that, or rulemaking that, that all of the banks have to comply with right now, and they've got to go through all the paperwork. So Republicans and Democrats alike have agreed that there are some things in here that simply weren't needed to be included in the original bill. And, now that we've seen the outcome of it, uh, there's agreement on both sides of the aisle that we can relax some of those those uh, regulatory uh, uh, challenges that are that are put in front of the smaller banks, and that cost gets passed on then to the consumers who are trying to do business with them. Senator Rounds, uh, the Wall Street Journal points out today that they have some concerns uh, about leverage loans. That that's a, a unique unique situation where banks can really offer leverage. They're not getting some of the traditional stops, backstops that you would have in those positions. And, and while those really help things when times are good, when times are bad, those are the first things to really sour. Are, are you worried at all about leverage loans that the banks might be able to uh, to extend? Well, I, I think we're getting into the weeds a little bit, but let me just share with you. I think there's always a, a question as to how much capital or their own money that they should have in place if they are using other people's money as well when you talk about any type of loans. And the, the debate is, is how much should the asset that actually belongs to the bank itself be there so that if you've got like a 5% capital, then you've got to have five percent of whatever you're actually bringing in in deposits as well that can be loaned out. When in, any time we talk about those numbers, those have been enhanced over the years. Uh, but the real question is, is what's the right number? And it's a healthy debate to have. We just think we might have gone a little too far in certain areas. And I think the Wall Street Journal has indicated that. I think there have been some other speakers who have suggested that they disagree with some of the, the modifications that we've made. We think we're in pretty good shape with the bill, but. Nonetheless, we think all of it is better than what we've got today. Doesn't mean that, there can, that we can't come back in. Once we've broken through the issue of no changes in Dodd-Frank, over the next couple of years, we'll be able to, I think on a simpler basis, an easier basis, make modifications to the base bill itself and perhaps allow the regulators a little more flexibility based on what they're seeing in the marketplace as well. So it's a healthy discussion right. to have, but Senator I'm not sure that I necessarily agree that we've gone too far Senator, at this point. I'll, I'll Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.